another way which you can categorize indicators are qualitative and quantitative indicators. Quantitative indicators are things you can count. Yeah, these measure achievements in terms of volumes or amounts. They are objective facts they can count. They are numerical. So they're often measures on a scale. So they're typically numbers or percentages. And they're very common. In our experience, they constitute about 90% of all the indicators. And there's a good reason for that. I think it's because they're basically relatively easy to report on. Whereas the other type of indicators are qualitative indicators. These measure the quality of a result. So the nature or the character of the change which has happened or the, the nature of the, the quality of our output. So these include opinions, perceptions, or stages of system developments, yeah. And so therefore they can be subjective. So it's where we go and ask people, what's it like living here? Yeah on a scale of one to five. One's rubbish and five is great. And people are saying, it's about two. And so then once our intervention is coming in, let's say it's a, an urban regeneration program, then you go back and afterwards you ask them, so what's it like living here now? And they'll say, well, it's four because things have got better. So you then turn it into a numerical value, but it's still a perception which is being captured by that numerical value. And because of that, because Qualitative indicators capture that perception of a change state. They are well suited to tracking outcomes. Okay, so there we go. So there's some examples of kind of the what qualitative and quantitative indicators look like, and they're complementary. Uh, and we would strongly advise that you try to mix. So when you're designing your indicators, you should be thinking: Is there a possible qualitative indicator that I could include in here, particularly for my outcomes or maybe my impact? So if you're talking about you know, children, children are, are in safe and protected environments, you might want to be asking families or children themselves, how safe do you feel now? Yeah, this kind of thing. Okay, so th there we've got there's some examples, but the message is clear. Think about a mix whenever possible, particularly for your outcomes and even for your impacts.